Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to use the stopwatch feature on your Casio ProTrek PRG600 watch. This is module 5497 from Casio, so this should work as long as you've got one of the 5497 watches. This is really pretty simple. Now you've got a little subdial over here on the left. Every time we press the mode button, it'll take us to a different mode on the subdial. So you can either look at the subdial and see that you're on the stopwatch value, or you will also see it down here in the digital display as well. So let's go ahead and let's go to the stopwatch mode. Your mode button is going to be your bottom left button. You'll notice as I press it once, it says BARO. I'm now in my barometer mode, and you can see that my subdial is pointing to that mode. Press it again, you're in your temperature mode, recall mode, and then eventually you'll get to STW, and you can see that my subdial is pointing to the stopwatch mode as well. So this is what your stopwatch mode looks like. It's really pretty simple. Once you get into your stopwatch mode, your bottom right button is going to be your start, your pause, and your resume button. While it is paused, if you press the top right button, that will reset your stopwatch to all zero values. If you wanted to do a split time, let's go ahead and start our stopwatch. While it is running, if you press the top right button, that will enter your split time. So you can see I'm at seven seconds, let's do a split at 10. And you can see it keeps alternating, it's showing me that that is my split time. So maybe you're out running, you're trying to track laps, something like that. If you want to release the split, you'll see that my stopwatch has been running the whole time and now my uh, split has been released. Again, I can stop it and I can reset it. If you're trying to uh, do a time for multiple runners, we're going to kind of do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and start the stopwatch. And then let's say your first runner finishes their race. You're going to want to press the top right button for your split. And then now your second runner has finished their race. You're going to press the bottom right button to stop it. And you'll notice that it's going to show me my split time first. That's my first runner. If I press the top right button, it'll show me the time for my second runner. Press the top right button again, and it'll reset me back to zero. So pretty simple stuff. The one thing I did want to mention, so I'm going to go ahead and start the stopwatch. I think the range for this stopwatch is 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. You don't have to stay in the stopwatch mode. I'm going to go ahead and press the mode button. You can see I'm now in my timer mode. Press it again, I'm in my alarm mode, my world time mode. Stay in whatever mode you want to. Your stopwatch will be running in the background. So if we go back to stopwatch mode, you can see that my stopwatch is still back there running. So again, I'm going to go ahead and stop it, reset it, and then once you're done with your stopwatch, you can either press the mode button to get back to your time mode, or you can press and hold the mode button, and that will take you back to your time mode. That'll work no matter what mode you're in, not just the stopwatch mode. Pretty simple stuff. That's how we use the stopwatch on the Casio ProTrek PRG600 watch. I hope the video helps.